I am delighted to extend greetings to the Japan Society of Northern California at its 2021 gala. To begin, I would like to express gratitude to Mr. Takahide Akiyama, President of the Society, to Ms. Nobuko Saito Cleary of its Executive Board, and to every other contributor to tonight's festivities. I also wish to warmly acknowledge this year's award recipients, Moderna and the Takeda Pharmaceutical Company. Their contributions reflect how tackling global challenges requires not just scientific rigor and relentless innovation, but also an abiding trust in international partnership. The Japan Society of Northern California was born in that spirit 116 years ago. I also feel a personal connection with this society. In 1992, its award of honor went to my longtime mentor, the late Madame Sadako Ogata. Madame Ogata and I met shortly beforehand during her service as the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. We remained closed until her passing two years ago. The city of San Francisco also has special significance for me. In a sense, the United Nations and modern Japan were both born here. In 1945, the United Nations Charter was negotiated and signed in this city. Then six years later, Japan regained its independence by signing the Treaty of San Francisco at the War Memorial Opera House, where you have gathered tonight. Both documents share fundamental goals and aspirations. The Charter opens by stating that we, the peoples of the United Nations, are determined to live together in peace. It also declares membership open to all other peace-loving states. In 1951, Japan and 48 other nations affirmed those principles in the Treaty of San Francisco. In the preamble, Japan declared its intention to apply for membership in the United Nations and conform to the Charter's principles. Japan ultimately joined the organization in 1956. Beyond ending the United States occupation of Japan, the treaty kicked off one of history's most successful bilateral relationships. And their friendship has truly bloomed thanks to countless personal connections. For a perfect example, one need only consider the story of Mr. Shigeaki Mori, a survivor of the atomic bombing of Hiroshima, who devoted his life to memorializing 12 American prisoners of war who perished that day. For more than 40 years, Mr. Mori tirelessly investigated the fate of each one of those American victims. And that was not all. He also shared that he had learned with their families, bringing them to a degree of closure. Mr. Mori's experience was beautifully portrayed in the award-winning film, Paper Lanterns, which was co-produced by the chair of tonight's gala, Ms. Nobuko Saito Cleary. Just as the Treaty of San Francisco embodies the spirit of reconciliation and friendship between the United States and Japan, Mr. Mori personifies the spirit of reconciliation and friendship between their peoples. Let us remember his example going forward as we the peoples join together to confront the great challenges of our time. I wish you a successful and enjoyable evening. <laughs>